My name is Bob Thorne and I'm a Senior Applications Engineer here at Radan. Now today I'm here to tell you about part picking using the Radan software. Now the Radan software supports a range of different part picking devices. And in this short video I'll show you how we can indicate which parts we want to pick and how we can interactively offload them onto various pallets. So here you can see a Radan nest project and I've got some components here that I want to nest. Now before I do this I'm going to actually apply some tooling to these parts. So in the part editor and using Radan's auto tooling I will apply appropriate tools for this component. You'll see that I'm deselecting the tag option in auto tooling because if I'm going to pick a part, I do not want it to be tagged into my sheet. Okay, having applied tooling to my part, I can now add an embedded pick to the same component. All I need to do is select a part removal option and select the slitting tools of my component. And as you can see here, I get a representation of the suckers associated with my particular machine tool. I can get the Radan software to automatically select the suckers that are over metal. If I wish to nest this part in different orientations, I can add multiple picks to my part and simply change the orientation of the suckers. So here you see I've rotated through 90. Again I can get the software to automatically select the suckers over the surface of the material. different component, I'm going to show you that you can interactively select the suckers rather than have it done automatically. So all you need to do is select the suckers that you wish to activate. Selecting them a second time will deactivate that particular sucker. Right, I'm going to now nest my components and in my nest options I've set it to auto compile these programs. Here's my first nest completed and my second. OK, once I have completed my nests, I can go into order mode and specify my unload options. And you can see here in the order menu under unload, I've got three options on how to unload my parts. In this case, I'm going to use semi-automatic. So here you see a representation of my nest. This red area shows a, a representation of my entire unload area. And on this particular unload area, I've got four separate pallet locations. I will now be offered each part in turn, and I can simply click it down where I want it to be unloaded to. Now, if I've got multiples of one component, they will be unloaded on top of one another until I reach my maximum stack height, which is from my unload preferences. Having completed my unload operation, I can return to order mode. I can now play a visual simulation of my punch program, showing the actual unload operations as they happen.
So the slitting is completed and there's my first unload op. My second. So on completion of the slitting, the parts will be unloaded to the appropriate area. Now back in tooling, I can go to the show option and display the unload area after unloading has taken place. And here you can see a visual representation of my unload area with my parts stacked. And here we have a parts list of those components that I've unloaded with the quantities and the stack height. So there you have part picking from Radan.